guys so this video these days there's many people who's been inspiring to be a flight attendant um, cabin attendant and um, my job is also um, an airline but it's not a flight attendant um, working on the airplane like that my my job is an airline agent airline agent um checking counter agent and and to this kind of job i want to inspire people too because nowadays in yes in japan i'm taking um i'm working a job as a check-in counter in japan and these days in japan airports there's so many pe there's so many foreigners who are now working at the airport in japan so for filipinos in the philippines if you want to really save money if you want to have a more salary it's not like a a big salary that you can get but it can make up to your living expenses like that and and now i will explain what kind of job is what kind of job is a check-in count so this check-in counter job is not only a check-in um this check-in counter we call is ground staff and this crown staff job it's kind of private that i cannot tell the details of what really is the job but the main is check-in counter office working at the office like a briefing like that um, for example for tomorrow um, reservation people how many how many will come like that and what we should do to um to um to help our customer to so that our customer will be happy with our service so like that we uh, we were trained to how to push the wheelchair how to use the wheelchair and if you cannot pass that you cannot do it alone like that and then the training time we were trained and for example when the passenger has a connecting flight how do we um how do you put that in the computer how to um, how to handle it it's around one month of training before you will enter the ground staff job um, i will teach you now on how to pass the interview when i was in junior college i am starting to focus on my dream job my ground staff so i go to i go to school every day to keep my profile good when so when i will go to the interview in my job my expression my first expression will be good and when you want to work at um as a ground staff in japan you need um toik the toik is um like an english test um it's a certificate on how well do you speak english and in japan the highest score will be uh, from starting to 500 500 points some people have 900 points like that as a foreigner you need to have a cert certificate on how well on how well you speak japanese so this certificate is nihongo noryoku kente if you don't have the japanese certificate you just need to when in the interview time you just need to impress the interviewer that you can speak in that you can speak japanese that you're confident at speaking japanese so i did kind of 
did it like that because I didn't yeah I didn't get the certificate of the, of the Japanese um, test so in the interview interview day I just used my own words my own um, confidence that I can speak Japanese that can be understood by the Japanese customer and why did I want to be a ground staff when I was a kid I really want to be a cabin attendant but my height is so pretty um, short so I think I cannot pass the height limit of the cabin attendant so <clears throat> my favorite is watching airplane um, when I'm in the airport I, re I am really so happy in that kind of place so if I can't be a cabin attendant then ground stuff why not like that kind of feeling so when I'm a ground staff, I can see airplane every day. I, I am in the airport every day. So I choose the ground staff to be my dream job. I'm working right now as a ground staff. And then I realized that it's really a big thing to speak English. The way you, um, the way you speak, uh, the, the way the, the English the way the intonation of your English is how good it could be. When your intonation in English is really good, like the Japanese people will be, will be like, wow. Like that. So, this, my, um, my language is Philippine um, Tagalog, Tagalog, English, and Japanese. So this three language, I want to use it. I want to um, use this to, to communicate with every customer that I want to serve. So yeah, that's why I want to be a ground staff. Entry in many kind of many kinds of airline company in Japan. For example, in Tokyo, in Osaka, in Nagoya, these three main places. I really um, oh, like all of the company in the airline I really entry and every of it but it's but it's kind of sad that I that I lost many of them the reason is I really I have no confidence at that time I have no confidence on my Japanese. I have no confidence that I can be a ground staff. I have no confidence that I can do this job, this hard job that I want. I tried my last best. And luckily, I'm living in Nagoya right now. So luckily I found in I found one company in Nagoya that is hiring ground staff. So yeah. So why not like that? So I inter um, start interviewing at that company. And the questions that will be asked is the main three things is what news do you like recently? What news do you watch recently like that? And what why is it that you like to work at this company and what does everyone think of you like for like for example my friends think of me as a excellent person a friendly person a um, helpful person like that then in the student days what is the best that you did this job is really hard can you do it like can you do it like kind of question that question is really really um the most i i heard in the in the interview so at that time i didn't think of it hardly then that why is it everyone asking of me like that 
And then when I started do doing the job, I know I know now why they ask this question every time. It's really hard. Like for three months only working, like the working shift is irregular. The job is difficult. Um, the airport is wide, so you that that wide airport you need to run. Um, you need to. Um, for example, there is many kinds of customers that you can encounter. So, yeah, I re I really know I really now know why why this is really a hard job. So, but this, but at and there is one time that I really want to quit because I didn't realize that it, this could be so hard. But when I um when I'm um, thinking about my time at junior college doing my best um, every day every day doing an interview practice bigla lang ako mag mag stop ng, uh, ng ganitong work parang sayang yung yung Sayang yung practice ko na yun, sa interview. Yung first, yung hindi pa ako nakapasok sa trabaho on how, on how ako nakating ano. Parang, yung before mo pasok sa trabaho, parang all is dream, all is um, nice, all is professional, all is good every day. But when you Pagpapasok ka na talaga sa pagtrabaho, the difference is so big. You really, you really need to adjust properly. So, when if three months ka lang, three months ka pa lang magtrabaho, you uh, use, hindi ka agad maka-adjust pa. You need to adjust slowly. For example, the shift time. The on how the job is so difficult it's kinda around one year to adjust so parang pag so mga may ako nag pasok, nag training na so may then August ngayon, so 3 months pa lang, parang mayroong time na gusto ko na mag stop because of how um, hard the job is, on how the responsibility is so high that I cannot, I, that I think I cannot stand it. But there, there is still um, part of me that why would I suddenly stop if this was really, if this was my dream job? This was, this was the job that I practice interview every day this job is why I'm taking all this test certificate this job is why I go to go to senior high school pag hindi dahil dito sa job hindi na ako nag school sa senior high school so tapos ang rami ring nag gusto, ano, gusto din mag job sana dito pero ako nakapasok na ako dito parang pag mag stop ako parang uh, ngayan nasa ngayan sayang parang nasayang ako sa um, sa best na ginawa ko so I'm really I'm really just adjusting right now then medyo okay okay naman recently na parang nagustuhan ko na din trabaho nakapag-adjust na ako sa mga co-workers ko. Yung biggest fear ko talaga noong training time, my biggest fear is speaking in Nihongo, speaking in Japanese. Because what if pag mag-check encounter na ako, then I will speak Japanese to a Japanese customer. 
then this Japanese customer will not understand my Nihongo like that. So when there, parang sa ka, sa company namin, may parang um, mag-uusap kayo sa isang company worker. Now, what is your biggest fear? What is um, ano yung pinagu ano ano yung pinakawery mo pag magpaso ka na sa trabaho? So yun as sinabi ko. Ang sinabi naman ng company worker ko is um, meron naman akong paano. Meron naman akong positive. Yung negative ko, Japanese. Pero may positive naman ako. So parang yung training time, puros negative lang yung naisip ko. Then, yung sinabi na yun ng company worker ko ay parang nabi parang nabigla ako na bakit puros negative na lang iniisip ko. I should um, kailangan ko din parang dapat mag-iisip ng positive so my, so that my mind would be positive. So that my feelings will be positive. Mag-serve ako ng customer. Maging masaya yung customer ko. So, ayun. Um, um, so, I should not worry my Japanese. I should worry why I'm thinking negative so I should be thinking positive that I can do this I can do that because ito yung pinasok ko ito naman sa um, Japan meron parang uh, private training lesson for a airline like sa isang, sa isang maliit na building meron training sa cabin attendant meron cab and ka ano, training sa ground staff Itong training na to is um, para sa interview lang. Para makapasok ka sa interview, para makapasok ka dito sa trabaho, parang ganun. But, um, yung doon nagpasok ako nun, parang nitinan ko lang kung ganit, anong ginagawa nila. Medyo mahal pag punta ka dun. Pero pag may ano ka naman, may dala ka naman pera, pwede ka naman papasok dun. May Wala, ano, 99%, 98% chance na makapasa ka sa isang company that you want. But for me, I really have no, uh, not that kind of money. So, I'm um, practicing my interview in my own um, junior college. And my teacher in inter, um, as an inter, huh? my teacher as an, parang interview, practice is dati siyang cabin attendant sa uh, JAL, sa Japan Airlines. So, ako din, parang gusto ko din my really dream company is Japan Airlines. But, um, not but. So, parang dun, dun gusto, gusto ko mapasok sa Japan Airlines. So, dun ako sa um, dun ako sa Japan, dating Japan Airlines na cabin crew na teacher ko. Then, may isang teacher naman ako na dati siyang ANA ANA um, cabin attendant. So, parang nalilito ako kung saan ako mag-practice ng interview. Pero, dun talaga ako sa Japan Airlines because this was my, this is my dream company. And then, Every day, every day, no practice sa kami. Then, pag feeling ko may kulang ako, ay parang ano, ginagawa ko talaga yung best ko na para masabi na ng teacher ko na okay na yung the way na pag-answer ko ng question. Meron time din na para yung intonation ko sa Japanese. Halata masyadong ano eh. Halata masyadong foreigner yung pagka-speak ko ng Japanese. So, para medyo maganda yung impression ko sa interviewer ko sa um, totoong company ko talaga. Um, Every day, nag-intonation practice ako. Like, arigato gazaimashita. Parang ganun, ganun intermission. Like, oh, stri ano, straight asimas. Parang ganun klaseng, uh, ganun klaseng practice.
So when dito sa Japan pag mag practice ay pag mag mag interview ka na talaga you should wear a suit and the hair should be a bun like a clean bun and or a ponytail a clean ponytail then pag mag the short hair people you should um style para mag ano parang pag ganito mo parang dark yung impression di ba kasi di makita yung lahat ng lahat ng face para makover pa rin sa face mo so you need to show your face talaga the na the shape of your face so parang ganito ay eh, mas maganda kung iklet dito di ba so yun you need and pag yung earrings yung gusto mag earrings dapat yung ganitong earrings ganitong earrings or mas maganda wala and no necklace no nails no long nails then ayun then then you should really smile pag open pa na ng door so like pag mag knock tayo tang 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 straighta shimas parang ganun haha <laughs> So yeah, the the smile is really important. Then the lesson that I learned when I was um, looking for a job, looking for a ground staff job is don't um, don't stop quickly. Pag maisip man na hindi ko na hindi ko kaya, hindi ko kaya. Pag masabi mo hindi ko hindi mo kaya, hindi mo talaga kaya. So pag Pag kail ano, for example, mm, for example, speaking Japanese. Pag speaking Japanese, di ko, di ko kaya, di ko kaya mag-speak ng Japanese. Hindi po de ganon. Kahit worried ka sa Japanese mo, you should think positive. You should think that you can speak Nihongo. You have to be confident of speaking Nihongo. Like that. Like positive. Mm, positive thinking is really important and the smile and don't give up quickly hiring uh, when entering a airline company yeah there's a bigger chance in the first company that you will enter there's a there's a big there's always a big chance that you will not be accepted in that company there will be many times that you may not be accepted by the company, by the airline company. But even if they cannot accept you, there is a reason why they cannot accept you. There is a reason why you need to more, you need to enter more company. So you need to think that you think you need to think that way. Pag sa isang company palang. Hindi ka, hindi ka tinanggap. You should not give up quickly. Ang rami pang airline company. Ang rami, baka marami pang airline company na gusto sa'yo. So, yeah. You should think positive. Smile. Don't give up easily. Then, you should really challenge yourself. Okay? Okay. This will be my video today. So, if you have questions on how to... Um, on how to be an airline airline staff on how to be a ground staff like that you just comment um tweet me or dm me in the instagram i can answer your questions about anything i can do so i'm now working if if you want to know i am now working at the nagoya at the central airport then um, there's a time that it's really hard working as a ground staff job, but there's really a time that it's really fun. Mag-grow up ka. The way you think will be a mature way. Parang maganda din sa ano? Pre, maganda din sa future. Sa future. Parang yung snabi ko kanina na napaka professional ng job yeah prof napaka professional magi parang magim professional ka parang the way you think will be mature parang yun parang you like parang magugustuhan mo pa ng 
Mar may maraming challenges. Parang ganun. So, pa yung mga Pinay dyan, yung mga Pinoy dyan na marunong maghihonggo, English, Tagalog, why not? You can you can work as a ground staff. Pag ground staff, like, mat, ano, matul parang help, maging helpful ka talaga sa um, airline because of these languages that we can speak. Meron tayo, mas matulungan pa natin yung mga Japanese co-workers natin para makakuminicate sa ibang foreigner customers. So yeah, this will be my video. If you're interested in my next video, um, please subscribe and like my channel. Then, if you're if you're interested more about airline, I can post the next video. So, just comment anything. And yeah, thank you for watching. Mabuhay Philippines. So thank you guys. Bye. Thank you.